Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and welcome to my community-supported agriculture summer series, where I use local organic ingredients from Clark Farm in Massachusetts to make delicious food. This week, I'm going to show you how to prepare the best salsa ever. Let me show you how to make it. I've got amazing slicer tomatoes, plum tomatoes, and onions from Clark Farm, along with jalapenos that I picked from the field, and this incredible organic cilantro. I'll start by coring the tomatoes. If you don't have a coring tool, you can simply use a paring knife to do this. After you remove the cores, we're going to cut the tomatoes in half, then pull all the pulp out of the tomatoes. Make sure you have a bowl on hand here. Next, we're going to slice the tomatoes into very thin strips. Then we'll dice those thin strips into smaller pieces, just like you see here. You should have three cups of diced tomatoes when finished. Next, you'll need to slice the onion into strips and then dice it into very small pieces as well. We've got to get those pieces as small as possible, and that raw onion flavor will tone down a bit once we add the vinegar. After that, I finally chopped some of that incredible organic cilantro from the farm, and then I added that to the bowl. I squeezed a little lime and a little lemon juice as well, and we'll just add that right into our bowl, along with some salt, cumin, vinegar, and now the jalapeno. I'm a wimp and I don't like my salsa too spicy. So I chopped off the tip of the jalapeno and then I diced it into very small pieces. Then we'll add it to our bowl. We're going to give it a good mix around until everything is well combined. And that's when I realized I forgot the garlic. So I only use half a clove here since garlic could easily overpower the other flavors of this. And I find that half a clove of finely minced garlic is just right. So I added that in and I gave it another good mix around the bowl. And you can certainly eat this right away, but I find if you let it sit overnight in the fridge, it will taste even better the next day. And now it's time to eat the bite. There are so many uses for this salsa. And today I went with my favorite snack, chips and salsa, a classic. The salsa is tangy and bright and the organic Clark Farm tomatoes were so ripe and ready to go for this one. I hope you give it a try, it's really fantastic. That's all for now. For this and all the printable recipes, you can visit my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.